Right, okay. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. No time to waste. Let's get going. Ah, there we go. I have to do it from here. All right. The law officers. He's out. Again. Where does he work, anyway? Now, now. Don't be harsh. Guess we'll have to come back later. All right, so I need to find something else. Look as grim as always. Hmm. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I had the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In third grade? Lunch money? Oh, oh, right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you'd do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe, yeah, but I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Hmm, perhaps. Let's present to him the letter. Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Hmm. Revenge. On me? Who is that old guy anyway? I... I don't know. Could he be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty or something? Nice, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he's following this letter then. He's got to be connected to Robert Hammond. He's got to be connected to Robert Hammond because it was about hitting both people who'd wronged him or something like that. Which means there was someone else behind it. Now, on the two men who ruined your life, yeah, connected to Robert Hammond. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond. It also says this is your last chance. Last chance. Wait, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait. That old man. What is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi? The suspect in the DL6 incident. Woo! The one who was found innocent. Okay, that I was expecting a little bit more information. Hmm. Talk. Yanni Yogi. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. Oh, right, we're in the courthouse. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out! Don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. That's all I remember. But when I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court. Yogi was found innocent. That's why he wanted revenge on Robert Hammond. For being declared insane or something. Isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I... I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. Wait, what? What? He killed his dad. What? No. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. No. I think... I think the time's come to tell all. No. No, it hasn't. All right. Well, for the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. 
I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? To dream about my father's killing in the dark. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out. Don't shout, you'll just use up more oxygen. I, I can't breathe. You, you're using up my air. What, what? Stop breathing my air, I'll, I'll stop you. Ah, what, what, what are you? Stop breathing my air! No, father. He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In days I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! Ah! Oh. And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. But, but... That's just a dream, right? Right? Possibly. That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? Oh, right, but... It wouldn't be murder in that situation. He should know this. That would not be... That wouldn't qualify... That wouldn't qualify as murder. Um... And not just kind of, he's a child and not eligible to be charged, blah, 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 blah. But his intention was to protect his dad, and he missed. So it's, ma yeah, manslaughter, but not murder, because murder requires malice of forethought. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth, you, you mean? It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do. Like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe... <gasps> there is, Nick. There is someone else who knows about DL6. Is there? Oh, is this where we go to Grossberg? Ah, things have changed. Uh, Mr. M Mr. Grossberg. Ah, uh, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. Can't believe you're not. My, my, my. Now just calm down. Tell me what's happened. Hmm? It, it, it's, it's, it's Mr. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth. He, he, he. I see. So Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father? I I it's only a dream. Only a dream! Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's not really. Pro you can't really prosecute on that. I wonder. What? What? If that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled, hmm? Wh well. Also, consider this. You know, he quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep he'd want to frame him for murder. Leads me to surmise, Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream. It was real, as you imagined. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired. The deed was done. Oh, right. Oh, he didn't actually shoot then. So, in which case, it's an accident. He doesn't know it's loaded. He doesn't fire. He's not trying to fire it. He throws it to ass to injure and assault if we want to go down that route, Yanni Yogi, he doesn't have the intention of killing his father. Hang on, hang on a minute, though. If it's, if it's evidence, it wouldn't have been loaded. You wouldn't have a loaded gun in a courtroom like that. Was there a way of shooting... No, there wasn't a way of shooting... Maybe there was a way of shooting into the lift. And that's what the, the shot was. Uh, no! I don't believe it. 
You know, he was suspected of murder and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Thus, he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with the statute of limitations so close. Can I present to you the letter? Oh, oh so this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following the letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but his own. His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his clients found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for, for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? You, you'll understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago. Uh, who, whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? That doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, and that kind of doesn't make sense, but it's the only... <laughs> Let's use our Holmesian deduction. Remove whatever is impossible, so it would be weird to write to himself, and it would be Miles Edgeworth is saying, Hey, frame me! It's great. However improbable, must be the truth. I mean, he's the least improbable. Hmm. Could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma? Why, why would he have something to do with this? Um, well, I'm, I'm not sure. Hmm. Von Karma. Von Karma. W wait! You're right, my boy! This is Von Karma's handwriting. I'm sure of it. I used to see it all the time on court reports. What? But, but, but that means the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? I mean, that's also a, an important question. Prosecutor Von Karma. If it truly was Von Karma who wrote the letter, then he, he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no! But, but how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. And Yanni Yogi isn't really in a state to talk about it. And neither is Miles Edgeworth's dad, what with being dead. Was he there then? Hmm. That I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? It's fifteen years ago. That's that's the time of his death. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von, Kam Von Karma did win, but he, he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. Go on. What happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He, he won the trial, but Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. No. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. Must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Okay. A vacation? Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He didn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or to the mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. You have strange ideas of vacations, Ma Maya. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. What? If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? 
to escape being suspect suspected of murder. What do we do, Nick? Von is going to bring up DL6, you can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Um, yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know. No, it's not. No. <laughs> accidental murder isn't murder. Because <laughs> murder requires... Right, first of all, you require... So, you require mal malice of forethought for murder. <laughs> I'm doing... I'm, I'm trying to explain legal terms to a game about... But basically, murder is malice of thought, requires malice of forethought, which is ba certainly right. What most people think of as murder or, ho or homicide is murder with malice of forethought. So it's planned, um, this is what we're going to do. Then you get to, I think in America, maybe it's like second degree murder. In the UK, it's manslaughter, which is you kill someone and your, your actions cause their death. But it's not intentional. But for for in in a case you have to kind of prove two things, and sometimes it can be difficult. And one of them is actus rea, which is the guilty act, and one is um oh what is it mentus rea, I think mentus rea, which is the guilty mind. So you have the intention of committing the act. So you can argue possibly that Edgeworth by throwing the gun, intended harm. But he intended harm on Yanni Yogi, and he didn't intend to, but he didn't intend to kill anyone. So that's probably where it goes. Um, so, now admittedly, if Miles Edgeworth pleads guilty to murder, there's not really much you can do as a defense attorney at that point. I know that. But it's wrong! Shut up, Phoenix! I just believe in Edgeworth's innocence. Well, I mean, that's your job. <laughs> that's defense attorney. I can't believe he'd killed some he'd kill someone. But but Nick, Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. Oh, because of the spirit medium stuff. But <sighs> This is based on a dream of a memory. And maybe he threw it, but he didn't... Yeah. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go trick again. Police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. Can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. Police materials. Hmm. Spirit medium. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Miss T. Fay. I'm Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yet Yogi was found innocent. I think based on what they said, he was found innocent on a... Not innocent, but... He can't. He couldn't be punished because of his mental state, which doesn't actually contradict with what Gregory Edgeworth is supposed to have said. 